The recent global health crisis has unraveled some of the weakest areas of our country's education systems. It has worsened education inequality with younger, vulnerable, and disadvantaged children among the most affected. Data from UNICEF indicates that more than half of the 10-year-olds in low- and middle-income countries were unable to read or comprehend a simple story even before the pandemic. In addition, learning poverty or the inability to read and comprehend a basic text by the age of 10 has gotten worse because of the disruption in schooling and is currently thought to be close to 70%. In response to the increased need to address educational inequalities throughout the world, the United Nations, through Transforming Education Summit, created five thematic action tracks guided by the Sustainable Development Goals. In all of these, one thing is clear. We need to act now. We cannot afford to waste more time. As education leaders, we cannot allow ASEAN children to miss out on the beauty and benefits of learning and the wonders of being able to use it positively to impact the ASEAN and the world. As education leaders, we have a huge responsibility to bear. The decisions we make today will help determine the quality of life in our countries and the entire ASEAN region. And the ripple effect of these decisions can reverberate for generations to come.